It's been over two years since the sports minister Isaac Esiama cut sword for the renovation of the Azuma Nelson Sports Complex in Kanishi, one of the 10 multi-purpose sporting facilities that are being constructed across the country. The project was initially scheduled to be completed in July 2019, but was then pushed back a year to March 2020. It's been four months since the scheduled completion date, but the project is still yet to be completed. Paul Atanga is the chief engineer of the project and he explains the major cause of the delay. When we started this work, there are unforeseen circumstances that we met. And as engineers, when we meet problems, we don't dodge them, we solve them and then move along. Yes, initially there was a drain that passes through the VIP end that discharges water from the Kanishi Township all the way to Odona. It was passing through our very own VIP. We had to divert it through the back so that we won't flood you know the industrial area yeah so some of these things you know will always delay the project a bit we call it force major when you are unable to do these things you will not be able to continue with the major works that you were given so this works we, we have two diversions that we've made one at the back of the stand b and then one across the pitch so that we can discharge water of this location yeah so now we are through with 78 percent and then we are seeing to it that uh, the remaining 22 with a few months to go we'll be able to do all that the project has, however, seen some improvements in City Sports last visit, and Atanga details the progress of work so far. So we have uh, four stands here. The stand A, which you see painted drain, is uh, almost true. We fixed doors, we have terrazzo, we have tiles. We've, we are virtually true with that part. The stand C2, um, the same thing. The stand B2, we are true, almost true with it. The VIP, which happens to be an additional of a floor onto it, as you can see. But trusses takes three months to complete and then the roofing. But with God being so good, we've been, we've been able to do the roofing complete. Now we are doing rendering works to start painting works too as well. So very soon, in a month or two, we should be done with the VIP and then, you know, seeing to the completion of the work. The athletics community in Accra have bemoaned the lack of tartan tracks available in the region after the depletion of the last existing one at the Elwak Sports Stadium. However, Atanga has assured that those worries will soon be a thing of the past, with the tartan tracks at the Azuma Nelson Sports Complex expected to be completed in the coming weeks. Yes, so with the football pitch and the running tracker, the football pitch is 95% complete, that you can even train as you can see, you can train on the pitch. But when it comes to the tartan track, the drains around the tartan track is complete. The caps outlining the tartan track is also complete. We've started bringing materials, as you can see from that far end. We are starting the build up. We are unable to bring the material in the morning or daytime because of heavy traffic. So we bring that in the So when you see us in the daytime working on the VIP, in the night we switch to the tartan track and then we are working. So in, you know, two weeks time to go, the tartan track should be ready by the way the football pitch is also ready. 10,000 seater capacity facility when completed will have boxing gyms, a tennis and basketball court, a 70 seater ICT center and a restaurant. It is expected to be a huge boost to the sporting sector in terms of infrastructure, but until then, we wait.